Welcome back to Kicking It with KG, guys. In today's podcast, we're going to be talking about my Bigfoot encounter, which I've been keeping a secret for over two years. We're going to be talking about why a beaver is just a swimming groundhog. And I'm going to be going mouth to mouth with my number one enemy. Bum, bum, bum. I'm not too excited about that one. But first, we're going to go ahead and talk about why I have beef with America's number one uh, restaurant in the world. Okay, one, what's, What is the number one restaurant in the world? Well, we'll get into that in a second. <laughs> but first, we got to talk about my breakfast situation. I thought it was a good move, but it wasn't. What is your breakfast situation? Well, this morning it was Frosted Flakes. That sounds like a fine breakfast situation. That's what I thought, too. And I was, I was wrong. And I've been wrong for two days in a row. Okay. Okay. Usually I have the same breakfast every day. Okay. Two okay. boost. Two. If you know what you had, that is, you know what that is, but two boost. Well, the last two mornings I've been thinking, you know what? Let me actually branch out. Let me get some variety. So I've been getting a bowl of milk and putting frosted flakes in it. That's not the move. Wait, I've got, I've got a question. Yeah. You pour the milk before you put the cereal in? Ah. Uh, you know what? This is crazy. Do you do that? Yeah, I do. Are you a serial killer? That's what I was thinking. Whenever I was doing it, I was like, wait, this is wrong, but I keep doing it. Uh, it's, uh, it it's, we wasn't even supposed to talk about this, but yeah, because listen, and I have a good reason why. No, there's not a good reason why, but whatever, let's hear it. No, there is a good reason why. There is a good reason why, and here's why. Listen, all right, here, look. What if you put, what if you get the ratios off, and you put a bunch, wait, how do you do it? Cereal, then milk. Okay. What if you put too much cereal at the beginning, and then you don't have enough milk to fill up the cereal, and the next thing you know, your bowl is overflowing with milk? What? You said too much cereal, and then at the end, you have too much milk? For the bowl. Uh, what? And the way I do is I fill up the bowl with as much milk as I want. Then I put with enough milk, okay? And then I put the cereal in. Then I eat it. Then I fill the bowl up again, and I eat it. And then I fill it up one more time, then I eat it. Then I go refill with more milk, then do it again and again and again. That's probably why I didn't have a good experience. I probably ate six to eight servings this morning. I think you're a psycho. I don't think your servings, you're getting less because of your methods. But continue with your short. Let's, let's, you're a psychopath. Go to the next thing. Anyways, I ate the Frosted Flakes, and what I quickly realized is that around, if you eat them around seven or eight, about 11 o'clock, your mouth tastes like acid. Is that just me? Yeah, it's just you. You, whenever you eat frosted flakes, I don't know what it is. Maybe it's too much milk. But does your mouth? You can still taste it. I mean, there's an aftertaste about everything. Exactly. But it doesn't taste like acid. Maybe not. But is it there, tastes. Is like- there mercury in your frosted flakes? <laughs> Maybe in the. It may be in the in milk. The milk? <laughs> Maybe. But like, is, is it homemade milk? You just got no. milk cow and Walmart got, made it. They made it. But okay. like, I think I'm done with Frosted Flakes, or at least for breakfast. I don't know why, but I'm just done with it. But now back to why I'm in a family feud with America's food giant, McDonald's. Okay. Okay. I don't know how much you eat McDonald's. Is it a lot? It's it's a it's more than I care to admit. What does that mean? It means that I'm not proud of how much I eat McDonald's, but it, it happens. All right. Well, right now the date, well, the date's like uh, October, pretty much. I have not eaten, just for a reference, I've not eaten McDonald's since the beginning of squirrel season. That's a big deal to the few people who know what I'm talking about. I'm, I was about to say, I have no clue what that means. <laughs> it's been a while, okay? It's been about two months since I've eaten McDonald's. And today, I just, I, I was feeling, I was like, listen, dude, I've been thinking about chickens lately. I've been doing a lot with chickens. I'm like, I want a McChicken. Two seventy nine each? When? When? Three years ago, there's a dollar. I went, I wanted four McChickens, ketchup only. The cashier thought I was crazy for that. And then she said, Seven fifty four or something. Okay, your first mistake. The crispy chicken sandwiches they have there are much better. So That's true. But you're exposing yourself. Uh, today. Well, here's the thing. Here's the thing. A lot of food, a lot of food opinions that I'm hearing that are just wrong, blatantly. At what point? All right. Here's the thing, though. How much is a crispy McChicken chicken? I don't know. I don't have it memorized. Okay. Well, 
I understand it's better. Yeah. But was it three and a half times better? I don't know. But here's the thing. Since when was a McChicken a dollar seventy nine? Do you think that's a little Thanks, over? Thanks, Joe Biden. <laughs> Do you think that's a little overkill for a thin chicken sandwich? Really? For their quality, yes. Yeah. Yeah, I, got, I gotta dollar. agree with that. I'm trying to play devil's advocate here, but no, I mean I can't justify it. It was a dollar the last time I went to McDonald's. That's fair. It's not fair that they raised the price on No, a dollar's fair. Oh, yeah, a dollar's fair. A dollar seven. It's not. It's not. And I don't know where Did you guys they, live. That's nearly double. Did they double in quality since the last time you were there? Uh uh-uh. uh. No, it's just it's probably worse. I was sitting in the I was sitting in the drive thru and I was like, dang, I have not been here in a brick. And I was like, huh, wonder why. And I won't be there for another one. Uh every I time I eat there, I think it's worse than the last time I ate there. I don't like McDonald's. I don't like the thought of McDonald's. Oh my gosh. When I pulled in, I was like, dude, this is McDonald's. This is so cool. Then when I pulled out, I was like, I, I know now I remember why I stopped going here. Anyways, the next thing we're gonna go on and get to, unless you have beef with McDonald's. Um, yeah, bring the Travis Scott meal back, and then we can talk. See, me and me, I'm more of a KFC guy. I don't think that surprised anybody. Okay, that you're a KFC guy. Yeah, I don't think that surprised anybody. Um, no, I mean I don't think so. Now we're gonna move on to something a little bit different. Okay, so the other night at church, I was talking to my buddy. His name was Tanner Mills, but that's me. It's it was a different one, strangely enough. That's but we me. was talking. He was like, "Dude, do you want to go find Bigfoot?" And this was maybe two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven weeks ago, maybe eight. And he, I was like, mm, "I don't know about that." And I was kind of like joking a little bit, like, "Nah, I don't want to go look for Bigfoot." But there was some reasoning behind it. I'll talk about that here in a second. But here's the thing: we have actually had a Bigfoot spotting or Bigfoot sighting, I don't know what you want to call it, in Kentucky in July. I don't know if you see this. What? Kentucky man believes he saw. He doesn't believe he saw. He's got video. He's got a TikTok proof. Believes he saw Bigfoot while on a trip to Lake Cumberland. If you do not know, Lake Cumberland is, um, let me find it, this, okay? That's a stinking big lake, okay? That's a stinking big lake for this guy to see. That's a snake lake. Let me show you this. Hold that back up. That's a snake lake. Uh, I'm pulling something else up. You see that right there? That's a snake lake. That is. Snake lake. Now, I want you to look at that. I want you to tell me right now. If a Bigfoot was going to live anywhere, would he not live on Lake Cumberland? Just saying that. The habitat. The habitat. He's got plenty of forest. I don't know this for sure, but I'm going to go ahead and assume government property. I don't know if that's actually true, but if it is, it explains a lot. Don't check the facts. It's true. Look. I'm not going to make any bold opinions, but I'm going to say that the Bigfoot sighting was somewhere over here. Oh yeah, that's a that's a that's a that's the region. That's the one. But back to the Kentucky man. This was in July 29th. That's not that long ago. Most likely, the Bigfoot's still there and within 30 miles of the place he was spotted. Now, he didn't say much about it, but he does have this TikTok. I'll zoom in a little bit better for y'all so that y'all can see it up on the big screen. But let's play it. Check this out. All right, that's enough. Twice is enough. Wait, one more time. One more time. Okay. But look at it. For real, though. That's fake. Why? Look at its left arm. Its left arm is like two foot longer than its right. No, it's not. Yes, it is. No, it's not. Are you a Bigfoot expert? Have you saw one before? Yeah. I can't pause it. But uh, yeah, that was on Lake Cumberland. I'm not going to give away our Addy. But that was sub 100 miles away from us. And they're not even in the mountain parts. We're in the mountain part, which I'm almost giving my Addy just by for, saying For that. anybody who cannot visualize this, who's just listening, that was just a very fake Bigfoot video that I think Kendall believes. Just imagine it looked like a CGI. That wasn't CGI. It looked, it looked like a bad CGI. It wasn't CGI. Then what? I don't know how do you explain the left arm being a foot longer than the right arm. Car accident. <laughs> Was he driving or he got hit by? He got hit. Hit and run. Hit and run. 
that's where most Bigfoot sightings come from is by on the road. Sometimes getting hit, but usually not. They're usually pretty good. Okay, level. On the road, though. 100%. 100%. Do you believe there is some sort of a Bigfoot, Sasquatch, Yeti type creature in the world anywhere? doesn't have to be in Lake Cumberland. Do you yes. actually you well, actually believe that? There's actually a, a lot of different species. Oh, so you believe in multiple different kinds. Yes. Have you ever been to Disney World? <laughs> Yeah. To the yeah. animal yeah. kingdom. Yeah. On the, uh, what's it called? Everest? Yeah. Expedition Have you seen Everest. the proof on the line? I don't pay that much attention. Pick. It's pretty hot. And I'm like, just trying to get to a ride roller coaster. Well, they have. I would have pulled it up, but I don't have time right now. They have a cast mold of a big foot. Uh, like, it's, it's, it's an actual footprint of this big. And it's a cast mold where they got it. It was up. It was up. It's a Yeti. I wouldn't call that one a Bigfoot. It's a Yeti, and it, it's in the Appalachia. No. What's the biggest mountain in the world? Uh, Everest. Everest. What's that range called? That, Serengeti? Uh, Himalayas. Himalayas. It's in the Himalayas. So they're a little bit different. I don't think these are that I don't think these are that big. That's about the size, I believe. Eight to nine feet. I don't think there's a lot of them. I want to say that. Like bears, you don't ever see bears around here. You know, if you live in like an area... Like out west, and this could be total bull crap, but when we was on a tour when we were out west, they say you only see a mountain lion once every 20 years. Mm-hmm. And you know how many times that mountain lion sees you? Did they tell you that? No. A lot. I saw a mountain lion while I was there, though. No, so you didn't. I swear. How old are you? I mean, once every 20 years that you're there. You're 23, I no. think. I am 23, but I don't. it's not like nope. per lifetime. It's per 20 years you spend there. You've spent time here, though. There's cougars here. Different. Do you believe that? Do you believe that? The, in, in mountain lions, yes. Okay. I've seen them. Here? No. Do you have to see it here for it to exist? That's exactly what I'm saying if, with the Bigfoot. If a Bigfoot is real, it doesn't live at Lake Cumberland. Um, I think... It would have to live, I think it had to live super north. No, that's a, they're different breeds. You know, there's one in Florida. We'll talk about it in a minute, but, but like I was saying, the thing about, I don't think there's a lot of Bigfoots. Like, are there Bigfoot? Yeah, there is. But just like bears, listen, there's, is there a lot of bears? I'm not really sure. I've never seen one in person, but I know they're here. You've never seen a bear? Not in person on like my land. I've seen them in a zoo, but that's it, I think. And yeah. But like I think with a Bigfoot, I think that they, tr- I think there's not many of them, and I think they're really like the cougars, to where it's like if they don't want to be seen, they're not going to be, except sometimes when they just get caught. If they exist, they're in the it would, it would be in the Himalayas. That's the only place That's that are like super super north Canada, like where nobody is. Those are different breeds. I'm talking about Bigfoot, but he's not real. No way. Well. Let's see what else was I got in that? I was looking at a. Whenever I saw this article, I was thinking about it and I was like, I need to tell the story. I've seen Bigfoot before. Listen, all right. Let's hear it. Right here behind my house. I, uh, it's going to be tough for a lot of you guys if you haven't been watching my channel for a while. But if you've been watching my channel for a while, you'll know, you'll know what I'm talking about, maybe. But back way behind my house, it's a pretty good walk. It's probably two, three miles back in there. There's a high wall. It's creepy. Okay. It's very creepy. And I used to do a lot of trapping back there. And I'd catch bobcats, raccoons, crazy. Oh, my goodness. Okay. Well, I just connected a dot. But there would be raccoons, <laughs> all that <laughs> stuff back there. Wait. What, 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 what's the dot? <laughs> Something ripped my raccoon in half, and I thought it was a person. <laughs> later uh anyways i was back in there if you guys all right i'm getting off track i went back there checking my bobcat trap it was dark i didn't have a gun because i a double take to make sure the bobcat wasn't behind i was you. just making i heard a noise i was back there i was trapping it was getting dark. I was walking out. I was like, dang, it'd be really scary if I, if something was watching me. I look up at the high wall, and there was something stinking watching me. It, I, they call it tree cancer, okay? You, so, so trees go like this. Let me illustrate. Trees go like this, straight down, then they bail out at the roots. Whenever you see a tree that goes down 
and then it has a weird bell and then comes back in, that's called tree cancer. It's not a real tree cancer. It's a thing by trying to hide behind the tree. It happens with humans. And I think I saw it with a cat the other day. It was sitting beside a tree, and I was like, that's that's not a tree. That's a cat. But then I saw the Bigfoot. And he was like this. Say, here's the tree. How tall? Give us, give us a... Here's the thing. Here's the thing. I was looking up at it, and I was like looking over the horizon in a way, so I didn't see his whole body. I just seen that much of him. Okay. And it was his head, the neck. I'm, here's what I did. I looked, I, was, I looked up. He went... He went... And then he was gone. I took off booking at home. And if you guys remember that, that was about two years ago. There was a point in my videos, if you guys are serious and watching... You've seen, like, I was trapping a lot at the beginning of my YouTube career. There was a point, trapping dropped off significantly. That was the time. I've not been over there since alone. I've went a few times during the day with other people, but I will never go back there alone. Here, I'm going to close my eyes, and you describe what he looked like to me. I want to visualize. Okay, listen, listen. Eyes are closed. Listen, Linda. Well, I was thinking, all right, here, since I'm actually going to describe it to you pretty pretty vividly but open up your eyes i have some more footage to show you so i was thinking what do what do other people see because this is what i was thinking i really just started thinking about this today and like really started thinking about it today so i was like what do other people see when they see bigfoot so i looked at some drawings this is what other people see they see um that's the shape of the head's pretty correct this one my the one i saw's head was more he less shoulders okay elongated yeah, Smaller it was. Smaller traps. Yes, it wasn't that buff. Like I was saying, though, I only saw that much of it, but his head wasn't rounded. It was more pointed. He had a neck. So then I was like, okay, this sounds that from. Guy, that guy's got no neck. I mean, <laughs> if you look around, you will see descendants that look about like an human. I'm just saying, this guy's shoulders go straight into underneath his ears. He's also about eight, nine feet tall. He That's a mature. But then I was like, all right, according to what I've seen, and he had some green. He had some like almost like green highlights, which is weird. I was like, maybe it was maybe it wasn't necessarily Sasquatch. Maybe it was a skunk ape. Skunk apes are popular in not Florida. F- yeah, Louisiana. exactly. Florida, Louisiana. That. Okay. So I was like, <laughs> dang, son. That's close. You could see down here how it gets like lime green. That's what it had, but that's just <laughs> that's just the headlights on the picture. I was gonna say I think that's just the lighting. I don't think that they're actually claiming right. that he's they're, this green. one. This one's not. He had the, he didn't have teeth. He wasn't mad. So then I was like, I, I kept looking. I didn't see anything. So I decided to draw and sketch out my own. Okay, I, I'll describe for the people Can who are not wa- for the people who are not watching. Here, you take a good look at it. And I'm gonna walk it up to the camera. Okay, for the people who are not watching, who are just listening. Kendall has drawn some sort of Wookiee top creature yep. with very indistinct facial features. I think there's a scribbled mustache and eyebrows on there. Um, the mouth is exactly the same shape as the eyes, and there is no he had, nose. He had, he didn't have one. And then there's just that there's, I could there's see some green in there. There is green. Yeah, that was one of the distinct features. Yeah, I mean, he had he had really big pupils. Are you confirming the mustache was there, <laughs> or was that an error in the drawing, or mustache or no mustache? We need to know. I mean, it it was the thing. What I was going for is that it was furry everywhere. How about and it no was long nose? hair? It was long hair. No nose. I didn't see one. So they don't have a nose. What I mainly what I mainly saw whenever I looked up there, I didn't see him but a split second, dude. Okay, I looked up there. I'm getting a little upset, but I'm not mad. Just Wait, saying. you saw a bigfoot and you just kind of like didn't looked tell anybody and looked away. No, dude, I seen it and I was like, I'm out of here. I took off booking it. But the main features was that the long hair, slick hair, it wasn't curly or anything, and had green highlights. I don't know if that was actually this guy. It question, and I don't know if you'll know the answer to this. Okay. Are there any people who have like been claimed to be injured or go missing by a Bigfoot attack? I don't know. I've never heard of that. Maybe they're not mean. That's what I was saying. Maybe you judge. That's why it. I didn't tell anybody. Because you you stereotyped him. You judged him. That for that I didn't tell anybody though. Because I didn't want because anybody. I don't know if he I don't know if he's still there though. You didn't tell anybody because you were embarrassed 
that you judged him without getting keep to know him. Safe. Him. Yeah, I don't know. Anyways, I think he moved on because I've said a lot of trail cameras since then. I ain't seen him. Yeah, I mean, it is what it is. If you believe, you believe. It doesn't. It's like uh, t- Siberian tiger. Listen, they're real. You just may not see them. Also, though, oh, uh, back to about the dot that I connected. I'm not trying to prolong the story, but I, okay, I did track back there a little bit uh, last year. And I was like, all right, this is when I was feeling more comfortable with him because I thought about it. I really did think about it. And I was like, he was, he, was I afraid of him or was he afraid of me? So then I was a little more comfortable to go back in. I you set ran. a trap over there. I caught a raccoon. Pretty good, right? He was in two pieces. And my trap was gone. How but was, the raccoon... How, how was he split? Ripped. Like... Ripped. Front and back half or sides? I think it I think it was right down like the side middle. Okay. It was terrifying. And then I put it up on a stick. I jabbed a big six foot stick in the ground and stuck the carcass on it. And it was gone the next day. Sounds like a bear. I don't I don't know that was Bigfoot. Okay. I just know that it happened. I think we're just gonna have to agree to disagree on this one. It appears that way. Well, next thing we got is a unbiased product review. Unbiased product review. Unbiased. This is this is just a random company we picked out in the world. We're gonna try to maybe do this every episode. What? Um if you're a company and you want us to review your products, the company last week said they sold over five thousand knives immediately after. So they're probably running low on stock. So go back to the last episode, get the code, buy the knife because we there did can't give be, a promo code, didn't we? There can't be many left, can there? I'd say not. But yeah, the unbiased product review. Today's unbiased product reviews looks like it's um Okay. K- KG face mask. So what are these? Apparently they're KG face masks. They protect okay. against they minor all right. They protect against dust, but they minorly are effective against COVID. Oh. But they are they are Did you say COVID? I did. I did. I said I said that uh what's his name? Stevie? The they got the science guy on TV that's telling us what to do. Fauci. Fauci, yep. Fauci. He said these aren't effective, but if you if the, if a store says you got to wear a mask, they don't kick you out if you wear one of these. I'm just saying that. They're super lightweight from what I can tell. This is the first time I've ever played with one. Okay, but. also, while Fauci said these are not effective, I have des- I deemed that they are effective. So it's really picking, are you going to trust his research, trust my research? You know, let, let's... They feel pretty good. Okay, let's... Um, let's Let's get the this thing up. is that they're not super heavy. They're not. They're not a. They're not a burden. And like when you want to take the mask off, like if you're allowed to, I don't know, go to the bathroom or something. You try to eat. You just slide that bad boy down on your neck. Now here's another thing I've learned with uh, looking at these Wait, for the can first I, can time. I, can ever. I comment? Absolutely. You look great. That's what I. And you can't see my neck. You look great. Because mine's camo. You look great. You can't see it. I mean, I looked over. Had mine like this, I look like I'm ready to rob any gas station. So if you have any interest in robbing things, I don't know if we can say that. You know, he I, didn't you, say he didn't say anything. You know, he, you know. But one thing I was thinking is like you can wear these a bunch of different ways. This one just happens to be camo. If it's cold outside, just saying this is a cheat code. Put it on your neck, okay? It's gonna keep the wind. And who needs a scarf? When you can put this on and then walk into a store and they they yell at you, you do that and then you just go behind. A, okay, so yeah. I'm gonna, I, I realized last week we did a lot of visual guides yes. and not everybody's watching. That's true. That is so true. I'm gonna. This is for if you're not watching. I'm gonna describe this product to you. Mm-hmm. But I'm and gonna I'm gonna verbalize this. The name of it is the KG the KG face, face, mask. face mask. Okay, it's red and it's one of the most. And I kid you not, it's one of the most unique camo patterns. It's not something like every other brand is going to make. It's not something that's crappy and played out. It's unique. It's different. This one that I have is red and I think it's either like a dark gray. Little Birdie told me they come in black, a black camo pattern, a blue camo pattern, tan, 
red, and green for hunting. Well, I got to say I'm loving the red. I'm loving the green. I'm loving the red. Um, But it's extremely... You ever get these kind of things and they're supposed to like stretch and fit, but it's like they don't actually stretch. Like they stretch enough to get on, but after that they just choke you. I know exactly what you're talking about. These do not do that. No, they don't. At all. Like this is the most comfortable mask since COVID started that I've wore. They're, they're, they're pretty durable because you can do this stuff with it. Just anything. You can do this if you want to. and You look like a regular Sub-Zero or Scorpion. Depends on who you like for those Mortal Kombat fans out there. Watch this. I'll do another one for you right here. Watch this. Okay. You can do a few things with this. You can twist it up like this, and then you do this, and then boom. You're ready to... You're ready to not get your hair wet. Give me, I mean... Now you're ready to go play some basketball. Give me a controller. This is how I play Xbox. It sweats. That's serious. Yeah, I, I, I'm a very serious Apex yeah. Legends player. So, I mean, the comfort on this thing, unreal. I mean, are, are we ready? I think I've filled it out enough to give my score. Are you ready to give your score? I'm ready to give my score. You want to go first? You can go first. Okay. I'm going to give it a 10-10. 10 out of 10. 10.10 10 out of 10. 10.10 10 out of 10. Mm-hmm. I've got to say it's just a 9.8. Okay. That's just because I've not seen the other colors. You've not wore it in cold weather. Yeah, like I, right now I don't especially need... Oh, it's one of those things you don't have to need. It's so good right now. But at the same time, like if I needed it... I think it would probably like be a twelve out of ten, like just wow. because. Wow. Have you ever watched the movie The Lorax, and the guy invents that thing that does everything? Yes. This is that. This is that. This is that thing. There's Dang. so many different functions and so many different ways you can wear it in colors. Like, I've got to say, you're speechless. I am. If it's a, if if okay, your two options as the listener are to buy this or not buy this. That's all. That, that's their only options, really. You should buy this. That's that's where I categorize this. You know, it's hard to put a number on this because it's such great quality. And if I say ten, you're gonna be like, oh, that company, whoever that, what's the company again? KG. KG yeah. They paid him off. They didn't pay me a cent to no, say. No, they didn't. How incredible! I don't even know the owner. I've never even touched a KG product until you just brought this into me. But luckily, luckily for you, they actually gave us a promo code, and it is code KING10, all caps K-I-N-G-1-0. Type that in at checkout at kennelgray1.com slash shop. Not only are they going to give you 10% off a mask. What? They're going to give you 10% off whatever you want. Whatever I want. The entire card. Your entire card. Oh my. Let me see. Not shipping, though, unfortunately. Well, I'm going to go ahead and order some things right now while we go on to the next segment. While we go on to the next segment, which is actually an animal draft. Last week, what we did Ba-da-da. last Ba-da-da. week, what we did was we did a, a gas station draft where you know we go through a gas station, we pick out what do we want. Okay, what's the best? What's what's the goodies? What all that good st- stuff? I think now we're doing the animals. Okay, Animal Kingdom. I've got it pulled up here. Let me just go and swing it over. The Animal Kingdom. We're doing the Animal Kingdom draft. Wow. What is the best of each I don't know what that is, but that's beautiful. That is the wrong Animal Kingdom. Give me a second. But that's beautiful still. I don't know what it is. Here we go. The Animal Kingdom draft. If you... And just, just a little... Just a little, you know... We're doing vertebrates only, okay? We know there's invertebrates, but we don't... We're not really doing it, okay? So we're you're just going to have to get... You're going to have to We're just... We're not that smart. Yeah, exactly. The classification draft. We each have to pick one mammal, one bird, one fish, one reptile, and one amphibian for our draft. Can, can, we, we, can we add something? Bugs. One thing that feels like an animal. It doesn't have to be an animal, but it feels like That's an true. animal. That's true. It's miscellaneous. Okay. You want to go first? I think I went first last week, so I'm going to let you... I went first last week. Did you? I picked a hot dog. Bad decision. Remember that? I remember that. Bad decision. Okay, I'll go first. All right. Let's hear it. I'm going to pick the only mammal that should ever go number one on this list. The ultimate killing machine. The Bengal tiger. Wow. The Bengal tiger. Didn't they go extinct? 
No. Not yet. What are they, like 14 left in the world? I watched a season-long history documentary of what is the most deadly animal in the world. Ranked number one. I stand by History Channel. My number one pick, the Bengal tiger. Is that that's the big orange ones, right? That's the that's the one on Frosted Flakes, is it not? <laughs> He's killing you too with that mercury in your Frosted Flakes. Apparently, as for me, I'm also wait. I get to go twice now. You get to go twice now. I'm, I'm gonna, also going to go with a mammal, and it's gonna it's gonna knock your socks off. Okay, now I don't know how much you go into this, but like supposedly. I don't know how people view this, and I don't even know how I view this, but apparently, once the meteor hit the dinosaur's planet, which is Earth, you know what survived? Pokemon. Rats. Rats. My bad. Because they were underground, and they didn't need much oxygen. So did birds. But so did rats. Okay. I'm going with rats. Mm. Because they're, uh, they, uh, wow, that was a bad pick. I don't know. <laughs> if rats can live in New York, they can live anywhere. I mean, I feel like for Have a you mammal, ever seen the rats on the subway anywhere? I mean, I just, I could kill a rat easily. I feel like it's just, I don't know what the criteria the for thing. this That's is. The thing. Can you kill a rat? Yeah. Can you kill a thousand? Well, I mean, if we're picking a thousand animals, then I think a thousand Bengal tigers would trump that easily. Here's the thing, though. A thousand Bengal tigers kills 999 rats. That one rat's hiding under a log. The Bengal tigers starved to death. The no, rat no, was don't. pregnant, and then she has little ones. This storyline is just way one. off subject. Yeah, so now I'm going to move on to my second one. I'm going to have to go with amphibians. <laughs> kind of unfortunate. I don't really know what the deal with amphibians are, but on their list, they just put like pretty much three frogs. Can I level? I did not think amphibians were an animal classification. It's kind of embarrassing. I thought like it was, I thought the fifth was bugs. Insects. <laughs> See, dude, I thought insects was, I thought it was the fifth one. That's I'm, what I thought too. And then I pulled it up. Apparently there's a whole nother one that says invertebrates and it's like six different other classifications. But we knocked them off because we don't know about bugs. And wait, bugs don't have vertebrae? I don't know. That's crazy. I didn't take AP chemistry. As for amphibians, I'm gonna just have to go straight bullfrogs because I can tell you right now. I can't tell. I actually can't tell you right now how many bullfrogs I've stabbed in the back of the head with a frog gig and them still be alive and kicking in the pan three weeks later. You hear that? I mean, I feel like you're going for resilient, but I don't think, you know. See, that's that's a good point. <laughs> Is that all you value, resiliency? I mean, some pe- some things just can't make it in tough worlds, but rats and bullfrogs can. Bullfrogs can live in radioactive waste. I don't know about that. I don't know about that either. Yeah. If you just said, no, they can, right there when I said I don't know about it, I, I was going to buy it, but you, you gave up on the gig so yeah no i don't buy it now you get two more picks i get two more picks hmm now i think i'm number one right now i don't uh i mean you got a rat and a bullfrog versus a bingle tiger i think i think we're gonna go i'm pulling the dub right now we're gonna go with a great white shark is a shark a fish it is okay (laughs) it's whales that are not whales and dolphins are both mammals and i picked a rat and you picked a rat i picked a rat I mean, it's, there on, is it's more, on your visual. There is more water than land in the world. I could have picked a dolphin. Talking about resilience, I could have picked a dolphin. Or like a giant squid. What? No, I think they're invertebrate. Probably. I think they are. Probably. Um, Actually, that doesn't... A shark is also an invertebrate. No, it's not. They don't have bones, do they? Yeah, they do. You sure? Yeah. 100%. Yeah. Are you actually... Check that, because I think I think something sharks are made out of ears and noses. Uh oh, here we go. Comment below if you actually know, and if you don't know, the number of vertebrae a shark has varies consider considerably between one seventy one eighty seven. So yeah, oh. they definitely do. Have you never seen a shark skeleton? Hmm. <laughs> 
They have teeth too. Yeah, they got a lot. Anyways, anyway, shark for the yep. fish, reptile. I'm gonna. I've got a team of a beast right now, and I'm gonna keep building. I think it's all relative to what your objective is. Well, my objective is apex predators. Oh wow! And we're gonna go with a crocodile. Why a crocodile? Not an alligator. It's bigger. Okay. Bigger seems it seems meaner. I'm. I would be. I would agree with that. If you say, "Hey, do you want to fight an alligator? Or you want to fight a crocodile?" I'll say, "Okay, let's let's fight the alligator." Yeah, hundred percent. I've 100%. seen videos of that. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go reptiles. Now, here's the thing. I don't know that much about reptiles. Okay. <laughs> I thought I'm gonna. I, be, I'm gonna level with you. I don't know anything about no, any of this. But I'm. I, 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 I thought. Pick a, what, I pick thought it looks cool. I thought a frog was a reptile. Rough day. I honestly did too. I'm not gonna lie. Until I was I, like, listen. Until this chart pulled up. Um, I thought amphibians was a type of reptile. Yeah, until this chart pulled up, and I, I definitely thought lizards were reptiles. Or, or is it half and half? Because I'm sure that there are some lizards that are reptiles, right? How can a snake be a reptile, but a lizard, which is a snake with legs, be an amphibian? Yeah, I mean, there's water snakes. That's amphibious. But do they live underwater, I guess? I don't know. I have no clue. Oh, oh dude. dude, I'm just thinking about. As things. for reptiles, I still have birds, fish, and reptiles. I think. And your miscellaneous something that I'm miscellaneous isn't an animal but feels like an animal. I'm gonna go with this pick. I'm gonna go with a fish. I'm gonna go with a green sunfish. Oddly specific. I don't know what it is. It is a bl- it is a sunfish that is extremely competitive. And in turn, because they are extremely repetitive, they end up um, eating all the food supply and killing everything in the pond. Your picks are very odd. Very, very specific. The green sunfish species is almost like, what's the word? Um, definitely going to happen. They, they always stunt their growth. That's a terrible pick. It is a pick, though. Oh, my gosh. I have an idea. I'll tell you about it later. Let's hear about it later. Okay. Okay. What's your next pick? Oh, my next pick. I'm gonna have to go with the miscellaneous on this one, and I'm a I'm a go I'm a go cheddar. From the picks that I've chose so far, I'm gonna go with um oak trees. It's a good tree. It is. It's very solid tree. Oak trees. Yeah. Very solid tree. My bird, my bird's coming in hot. My bird is coming in hot. I'm gonna switch that to a palm tree. It's too late. I'll allow it. Is, palm I, tree. I, I, palm tree. Yeah. Okay. That's my miscellaneous animal. The um. What okay. you got left? Bird, amphibian, and miscellaneous animal. Okay. For my miscellaneous animal. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. Goldfish. Wow. But not goldfish that swim around. Ooh. The snack that smiles back. Dang. Goldfish. Why? Just felt right. You ever seen those commercials? They used to be oh. really entertaining and they gave up on them. Yeah, and then and now well, I watch I don't know 25 if they, progressive commercials every time. I don't know if they shows. gave up on them or if the people... The, they just sold enough. The, the, people <laughs> who did, the people who get mad if you advertise towards kids, maybe they stepped in. What are they called? Let's call them PETA. I know it isn't them, but we'll say it. It could be because you're eating fish and they don't like it. Is it your turn now? <laughs> yeah, my my pick again. Is this your last pick? No, I got birds and amphibians. Dang. I don't know amphibians, so I'm going to wait for the last. Bird, we're about to figure out a lot about you people and you, the way you vote. Because I'm going to pick the bald eagle. Oh, my gosh. So if you, you stole mine. If you don't pick that, I don't want to say you hate America, but I think you hate America if you don't pick my team. Wow. I believe it's your pick. It is my pick. I think the last thing I got is a bird, right? What I'm going to have to say for the bird, I was going to say bald eagle because i like, dang, that's a bald eagle. And I've seen one before. Wait, you had bald eagle on your list and you felt the yellow sunfish should have went higher. (laughs) It's a green sunfish. (laughs) And I did it. Is that yeah. how we're supposed to do it? Like number one is first pick. What? Of course, number one. I would be I save them best for last. Why would no? 
You got to try yeah, stack and I, got, I tried to do something unorthodox, and I got burned. Again. Again. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to say the Golden Eagle, because I've seen one of those before, too. But here's the thing. Look at my list. What do you see? Look at, what do you see, okay? You see one tertiary ter- 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 predator. Tertiary. Yep, which is the bald eagle. And then what do you see under it? You don't have the bald eagle. What do you see under it? You see all of its food source. This is food sources. Boom. I just created an environment to where golden eagles can thrive. They can eat rats. They can eat green sunfish. They can eat... What was my reptile? I did not pick one yet. Huh. That's your last pick. I'm going to give it a... Uh, I'm going to give them a snapping turtle because they they taste good. <laughs> and then you got the jelly fish. What was my miscellaneous? Uh, palm trees. Palm trees so that the golden eagles can nest in. And then bullfrogs. Listen, there's a large population of people who like treat plants like they are alive. Like, as in like they a are what? like pets. They're not? I mean like pets. Like They're not? You respect nature? Yeah, but I don't think it's going to be... Do you like oxygen? Sometimes. It's not Fair a, enough. It's not an everyday thing, you know? Too much of it. It's bad for you. It will oxygenate you. Yeah. So what happened in Himalayas. Yep. Yeti broke down all the trees and ain't no oxygen. <sighs> Yetis. Curses be to Yetis. Did I say snapping turtles? You did. Yeah, because they taste good. That's your full roster. That's my full roster. It's You've not got, a bad one. It's <laughs> got rats, golden eagles... Green sunfish. Green sunfish, not yellow. Yep. Don't get it confused. Mm-mm. Um, snapping turtles, bullfrogs, and palm trees. Top that list out there. Let's let's give the people a visual of let's our see. list side by side. My last pick, my amphibian. Uh, I don't really know any amphibians, so I've been looking them up the entire time we've been doing this draft. Yeah. And I just look up every now and then and make a pick. Just because it's fun to say. I'm going to go with Newt. Say it. Newt. 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 How do you spell that? N-E-U-T? N-E-W-T. What is it? It's like a salamander kind of thing. Really? A newt. How many legs? Let me look it up real quick. A newt. How do I do this? Okay. How do you spell newt? newt. All right, let's just look it up right here. Right there. Wow. Wow. He looks like a... Where do they live at? I want to hang out with. Where do they live at? California. California. Well, what about that? I'm, I'm not going to say that's a bad pick. I'm just going to say that if your bald eagle tries to eat that, it's probably going to die. No, they're friends. They're on a team. Oh, okay. They're they they are the kind of group that you know just gets in there and works together for the greater for the whole, good for the whole greater yeah. good. So that I'm done. You got one more pick? No, that's it. That's it. I'll be honest. I was going to tie them out. I don't know how to do that. Okay, but okay. I mean, I, I've got. I'm gonna, I'll, I'll run through my list real quick. Okay. Run Dingle your Tiger. List. Wait, go back to the col- so I can remember it. My All right. Um, that's not that's it. the wrong one. That is the wrong one. Um, that is also the wrong one. <laughs> that is also the wrong one. Um, I don't think we have the picture we're looking for. Okay. It was Bengal Tiger, Great White Shark, Gold or Bald Eagle. Goldfish. Crocodile, goldfish, the snack that smiles back, yep. and a newt. Mine, I forgot mine, guys. You should kind of comment below what mine was, and then pick whether you like mine or his better. Yeah, who now, won? First of all, comment who won. Now on to... And then, yeah. we want your list. We do want your list. What's the, what's the, what did we miss? Tell us how wrong we are. I don't think I'm wrong. I think you're wrong. I don't think I'm wrong. I think you're wrong. I, I think I'm right. I don't think anybody thinks that. It's all subjective. I don't think you think that. I think you're lying to yourself. Now on to the segment of the day. The segment of the day? I go Kendall, what is the segment of the day? Mouth to mouth with my public enemy, number one. Oh, gross. Kissing? In, in my last episode of Kicking It With KG, the podcast, I talked about how I don't like Mountain Dew because yeah, it did. is liquid poison. So, I don't know if we agreed to a certain lot, number of likes we or did. not. We did. But... We don't know if we got it or not because this is being recorded before that's released. Yeah. So, like, so long we, story short. We trust you all. This is a lot of trust we're putting in you all. Long story short, I'm taste testing a bunch of different Mountain Dew flavors. 
And so to get myself hyped up, or I guess mentally, mentally just, you know, I don't know, conditioned to it, I started looking up what kind of heck flavors do Mountain Dews even have? And then this started popping up. Kind of, it kind of made me, it, it made me a little scared because I don't know if I like bright colors that much from unnatural items. And so then I was like, you know what? I'm going to fix it. I'm going to look up Mountain Dew, Kentucky, okay? Maybe it's a little bit closer to home. Then I found out that, check this out. Look at this journalism. Kentucky is the Mountain Dew belt and leads per capita. Woo, 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 woo. We did it. That literally, we're literally, that literally means we are the number one Mountain Dew drinking state in the world. And I'm not surprised. If you listen from another state. If you're not and from you, Kentucky. And you don't drink Mountain Dew. You're probably from Nevada. Get on our level. Go to your local gas station or store that sells Mountain Dew. We yes. are vibrating Mountain and, and Dew And try green. to catch up because right now you're slacking. Like we are, we're the leader by a lot. I don't know what state this is. That's South Dakota. I don't know that, but I think it's South Dakota. South Dakota. They're still not on our level. Are trying, and I appreciate that, but. So is Indiana and our brother, in, our brother, our, our nephson, West Virginia. Yeah, guys. I mean, sorry. Better luck next year. I mean. <laughs> we'll see. Yeah, better luck next year. So, I mean, I guess, long story short, let's get cracking. Let's get cracking. We're going to do this taste test blind and we're gonna see if you can guess the flavors sponsored by nope not sponsored by kindle gray mask what i'm gonna blind mode my blindfold myself with the kg mask that was unsponsored by today's product episode yeah oh totally unsponsored. use promo code king 10 get whatever probably, you're probably gonna need to take the headset off first. oh no we won't either i think it's gonna leave your vision open and then that's not gonna I can't see anything, but if you try pull something, is it, does anybody remember this episode? This part of Bird Box. <laughs> <laughs> this is the Bird Box meme. <laughs> this is scary because I can't hear. I don't. I can't. Okay. Just said We've it got right our here. First said one. it right. I'm going to open it and hand it to you so we don't spill it. Okay. This is number one. This is scary because usually I've got to write. I've got to write down the names. I'm, I'm concentrating. Usually I could listen to where your voice is to figure out where you are, but it don't work like that. I have headphones on. You could be behind me and holding the microphone, and I'd have no idea where you was. Okay. If you're a watcher, I'm going to show you on the camera. If not, we'll tell you what they are later. Okay. This is Mountain Dew number one. Are you handing it to me? I was showing the camera. Getting oh, a close okay. shot. Oh, you hear that? <laughs> that, that fizz. Oh, no. That's not that good. Fizz. That's the stuff. Okay. It's cold. Yeah, I mean, I just got them at the store. I can smell this one. <laughs> get enough of it. Make sure you really get it. <laughs> I can feel it burning. <laughs> it's burning. Oh, going back for another round. Do I got to guess? Yeah. I'm going to call this one. Here. I've got it. I'm going to guess that one is Blue Slime. Blue Slime. That's the flavor I'm guessing. Okay. What do you what do you give it? What's the rating? 2.8 out of 10. 2.8 out of 10. So not a fan of Blue Slime. No, nope. Blue Slime. I don't like that flavor. I'm pretty confident in my in my in my guess though. Okay, I'm gonna keep them lined up right there. Okay. I'm not a fan. The aftertaste. Are you, are you ready for the, you ready for this? Yeah. Dang. That's crisp. That's you're welcome to the viewers for that. Oh wait, I gotta show them. I gotta show them the I'm scared. Should be. Scary dude, Mountain Dew. Oh my gosh! Right. Hand out. Got it. Yeah, yeah, I got don't, it. Don't spill it. <laughs> hmm. Wow. A lot going on there, huh? I'm done. Done. I'ma say.
Chernobyl. Cotton candy, Chernobyl. <laughs> Cotton candy, Chernobyl. Okay, that's, yeah. That's pretty. That one's, it's got to be. I'm looking at it, and that's probably what I would guess it tastes like. I mean. It still burns, but it's a little sweet. And it doesn't burn as much until a few seconds after the drink. Okay, so what's the what's the three point six? What did so what what kind of flavors are you tasting right now? Are there any like fruity things in it or anything? More or less just or just Mountain Dew burning, just burning Mountain Dew. Yeah, it's right here. But though. it was better than the first one, just on the right side. That don't sound good, man. Mm-mm, I ain't happy about it. Oh, and it, it feels like an air compressor is hooked up. It's just expanding. Here we go for number three. You oh ready? Oh gosh. Oh gosh. We got six total, so. Oh, crisp. I'm telling you, man. I'm telling you. Hand out. Got it? I'm re- I got it. I'm ready. I like how it takes two drinks every time. Wow. That one's different. Is it funky? I'm going to say that one is sprinkling Sprite. Sprinkling Sprite. Maybe a little crossover. Oh. Does Pepsi make Sprite? They do. No, really? No, they don't. They don't. They make 7-Up. Okay. I, I'm going to... Oh. Maybe it's a crossover. A so seven, maybe... A seven maybe, up. maybe Lime... Or maybe lemon lime liquidation. So not sprinkling sprite. You want me to change the name on that? I'm gonna say sprinkling sprite. Okay, it might be a, it, it might be a crossover. Okay. Oh, uh, what's the what's the rating on that one? Three three four. We're not getting high scores on any of these, are we? No, not yet. You never know. They could be a good one though. Okay, I'll tell you this. For me, I saved my favorite two for last. So you have something to look forward to. Okay. Unless you think I have terrible taste, then you might not. You probably like Funyuns, don't you? No, not really. I feel like I'm about to blow up. These. This ain't good. This one right here, I would not drink. I'm going to tell you that right now. So, I don't know if it's just my flavor, like my taste bud or whatever, but this does not sound appealing at all to me. <laughs> <laughs> but good luck for you, big guy. Oh gosh! Here you, wait, let me get that. I don't even up. like normal Mountain Dew. Here, you. <laughs> I don't know why I agreed to do this. I'm, I don't even know if this is real Mountain Dew. I don't know. I don't know that you did agree to this. I think I just showed up with him and said it was happening. <laughs> is he gonna get a second drink? <laughs> oh, he's going back. <laughs> How about it? <clears throat> you you good? Or are you going back for another one? Oh, you like this one? You oh man, no. you're <clears throat> you like that one, didn't you? I'd name that one Daring Diesel. I don't feel like you're giving any kind of indication of how they taste. Oh no. It it's <laughs> Have you ever had diesel? No. Okay. Have you? I don't know. That's no. <clears throat> Kendall Gray, not a real country boy, doesn't drink diesel, guys. That one hurt. That one hurt. Okay. That one that one may stick with me for a couple hours. <sighs> what, what, what what's the rating? Is it good? Oh no. No, not good. Two nine. Two point nine. nine. Not your lowest. It's not. No. Hmm. The first one was the lowest. That one was pretty bad. I bet it was pink too. Off road diesel. Off road diesel. Think it was pink. Yeah, I think it was pink. Okay, we're getting, we're, we're nearing the end. How many more you got? I've got two more. Oh my! And they're gosh. my they're my two personal favorites. So, you're welcome. This is scary, dude. Yeah, it is. All right, let's get that. Whoa. 
You go, big guy. You good? <laughs> you, good? you good, man? I'm going to say... Midnight Monstrosity. You gonna explain that one? Probably Halloween edition. I'd say they probably brought it in. Probably in May. They'll probably go out in November and they'll probably never... Is it good? It's a 4.6. I I told you I saved my favorites for the end. I think they'll I think it'll phase out in December. I mean, okay. November though, and probably never come back. I've if got, that's the original recipe, man. I don't think it was though. Have you do you think you've had the OG Mountain Dew yet or do you think it's this next one? I think it's this next one. So you don't think you've had the regular Mountain Dew. I don't think Dew. I have, but I I'll, I'll taste this one and I'll let you know. I don't think I've had it though. Who said it was even here? It may not be, probably not. You know, whoever really knows, right? I know that none only the first couple burned as bad as the original mm, this recipe. And, this one right here is my favorite. Wait, we got Do you me. think it's a lot of other people's favorites too? Doubt it. Wow. I think the OG's probably the favorite. This is it's not, you're gonna immediately know that it's not that one. Here you go. I'm drinking the rest of this one whenever you get done. Because I smelt it. It smells so good. Are you done? Yeah. You're going to think I'm crazy. But I think it tastes like catfish seasoning. Is that good? Do you like catfish seasoning? Is that the name of the flavor you think? I think that's the cinnamon catfish cinnamon, flavor. Cinnamon Cat, catfish. Cinnamon catfish with an L in it. Okay. That's pretty close, honestly. What's the rating on that one? Three seven. Three seven. Hey, yep. my the two I said were the highest got the highest score. Did they? Yes. Okay, here, I'm going to mix them up, and we're going to see if you can guess now that you can see them. I don't know about it, man. I know the diesel fuel is purple. I mean pink. It's got to be. I could taste it. Okay. Can I take off? Take him off. Take off the mask. Okay, this is what we got. We've got... Oh, my goodness. Code Red, Original. That's the diesel fuel. Live Wire, Voltage. It's the, that's the diesel fuel. Major Melon, and Voodoo, Mystery Flavor. I was really close, because that's the Halloween edition, isn't it? So, which one did you think was the first the one? Hall Blue Slime. That was not. This was the one you called Blue Slime. That's actually really close, isn't it? What, this one? This one? Blue slime? Because it's blue and it's... Lemon. I don't know what the flavor is. It doesn't even say. <laughs> it just says mystery flavor. That is not good branding. That one, I, w I would not be surprised if that one right there... I don't even know what I was going to say. Okay, number two. Blue slime, though, Halloween? That's really close. Number, number, number two. Cotton candy Chernobyl. And it got a three six. It's got to be the red one. This also got the lowest score, by the way. Mystery flavor. <laughs> what if that's what if that really is a mystery flavor out of all these? And then they just put like they don't put coloring in it, so it's actually one of these you just don't know it. I mean, it, it didn't get the same score or something else. So okay, okay. So Cotton Candy Chernobyl is which one? Has to be that one. It is not. This is Cotton Candy Chernobyl. Why is it blue? I, that one is? No. This oh, I was blue about to one say, here. I'm just say. reorganizing. Okay. So, so far you feel kind of caught off guard? What we got going on here? A Roku commercial? 
<laughs> yeah, no free ads. No free ads here, boys. I'm just kidding. We'll give you free Except ads. Except for Mountain Dew. And, and that Kendall Gray yeah. dot com thing. Send us we'll your products, anybody. Um, okay, third. Sprinkling Sprot. It's that one. It's not. It's the regular. You said it was like lemon lime, and that's what original Mountain Dew is. Like when you were taste testing it, and I was like, okay, yeah, you got it. But then you were like, you were close on that, the flavor. I, I, I'm pretty close on all these. I No, I don't think so. Okay, third, Daring Diesel. It's this one. <laughs> yeah. I know that one. <laughs> Daring Diesel is this one. That's the one I told you I would not drink. And it makes That just <laughs> looks gross. I've got a friend and it's, it's just that, that is off-road diesel. Off-road diesel is pink. And it's diesel because of a major and because majors drive. I've tanks. got a friend. His name is also Tanner. Not the Tanner you're talking about previously. We live in a very dense Tanner area. <laughs> He drinks that because he enjoys it. Like he goes to stores and buys that and drinks them. And I, um, I don't know how I feel about him sometimes. No, no. Anyways, the last two. You said those two are, the, are your favorite. Two? My favorite two. Dang. They got your high scores. Well, <laughs> so maybe I they're think, your favorites too. <laughs> <laughs> I think. Okay, actually, no. You, this is blonde. That one wasn't that. That one was kind of good though. That got your. Third, fourth score. Wow. Okay. This one got a really low score though. It that wasn't was the, any good. It, it was. Okay, so you have midnight monstrosity and cinnamon catfish. Okay. So midnight monstrosity was four point six. Cinnamon catfish was a three point seven. This one's catfish. That one is catfish. And this one is midnight. The monstrosity. winner. Wait, that one won. That was the high score. Code red. Huh. It got a four six. The next highest was three seven. That's not bad. That's it's not bad for legal poison. I mean, hey, I don't know. I'm about to drink all of this orange one. As Dude, soon as we imagine if I would have said the blue slime. No, I said that one was a holiday, a, a Halloween special, and it's probably gonna get phased out. It's this one. No, you said that about one of these two. No, it was midnight. You said this one. Probably gonna get phased. It was gonna out. get phased out. And that then you is, gave it the high score. I think. I You're think like this is too good. They're gonna take this one away. I was, that one is probably the second most popular flavor, from what I know. I'd say so. Yeah, but I'm not a very active member of the Mountain Dew community. I don't know, guys. I want you guys to comment below if you don't drink Mountain Dew. Honestly, good for you. Okay, you're probably gonna live four times. I mean, like twenty extra years longer than everybody else. But if you do drink Mountain Dew, which Mountain Dews do you drink? Which one is your favorite? And which one do you wish they'd literally phase out? Tell us below, boys. Oh, yeah. If you comment, you get a chance at a shout-out on the next pod. Yep, you do. So I'm going to shout out Abram Smith. You get this shout-out. Who gets the next one? If you ain't in the, if you ain't in the comment section, we don't know your name. That's very true. Well, you don't know your... I mean, do you know? If they don't comment, I don't know them. And you want to know a little secret? Let's hear it. This podcast is over. See y'all next time. Peter Popper picked a pick of pickle pepper. Welcome back to Kicking It with KJ. In today's episode... <laughs> we'll restart that. All right, restart. I'm going to be going to... I'm also... <sighs> <laughs>